Where I grew up in the little town of Blandville, all the women and the men who had children were married, except one lady. Her name was Cassie, and she had the misfortune to fall in love with a married man, and apparently he fell in love with her too, because they had two little girls, Judy and Sandy. Judy was very close to my age, and we went to school together. But I didn't understand why she had these huge oatry scars up her arms, actually up both arms. And Dad finally told me the story. When they were babies, Cassie lived in a little bitty trailer close to the Lane store. And uh, Cassie had ran over, had run over to the store to get something and was standing there talking to Essie. And for some reason, the little coal oil stove that was in their little trailer had exploded and the whole thing went up into flames. Well, maybe it wasn't the trailer I remember. That was later. This was a house, a little bitty house. And the explosion woke Daddy, who was working swing shift, and we lived in a little house right off of the circle. And he jumped up, got his clothes on, and ran up to the circle to see what was going on. And he found a grown man standing there holding Cassie to keep her from running back in. And he said, where are the babies? And they said, they're in there. So Daddy got a blanket that somebody had, and he doused it with water, and he got on his hands and knees, and he crawled up to the door, and I don't remember whether it was blown off or it was open, but he got in the house, knew where the children were, and he found one of them in her crib, and that was Sandy, and he handed her out through the window. And she had some scars too, but nothing as bad as Judy's. And he went crawling back looking for Judy in her bed because the children had been taking a nap. But she wasn't in her bed, and he found one boot and he threw that out the window. And then he crawled around on the floor until he found Judy's body. And he managed to get her and get her to the window and pass her out the window. And he crawled back and started out the door. And when he got to the door, he stood up, but he passed out from smoke inhalation and mother was afraid he was gonna die, but he didn't. And they got him something to drink and cooled him down and he was not burned. But Judy and Sandy both had to be taken to the doctor right away. And in those days, they didn't have skin grafts or anything. So Judy had big, curly scars all up her arms where she had been burned. However, had Daddy not been the only man in town that had the courage of his convictions, they would have both died in that fire.